A certified master chef is the pinnacle of the culinary profession. A certified master chef is a person that basically has mastered craft skills. A certified master chef is somebody who has the ability to cook on the highest level under the most extreme pressure. A certified master chef is someone who really sets the standard for our industry. A certified master chef is a teacher and a student. A certified master chef is a warrior. So it's a lot of things rolled into one, but at the end of the day, I guess you can call just a very professional cook that is extremely good at his craft. This is a lifetime of preparation. This is not something you wake up in the morning and say, oh, I'm gonna be a CMC in the morning. This is something that takes a lifetime, learning the, all the skills within the kitchen. It's the highest level of certification in our in our organization in our in our structure, you know, and it, it says to you that you have attained culinary excellence. It's a serious test. It's a it's a very difficult test. You have to be at the top of your game. Um, you have to be very mentally and physically fit. It's there are very long days, uh, but it's attainable. It's something you know that we we see the, the uh, chefs in the kitchen. And it's just like working in your restaurant. You know, if you're, if you're very quick, you're very talented, you've got a chance to, to work to this level. For the chefs uh, themselves, there's very specific disciplines that they have to accomplish. There's a healthy cooking component, garde manger, classical, freestyle, which they can really show what they do best. There's a global component, baking and pastry two parts on the last day. The AM is Northern European cuisine, that old continental cuisine, and then there's a market or mystery basket for the afternoon. Classical puts you in a situation where you're in a box and you got those constraints. You need to put your kind of innate talent or ability or insight into that particular dish and be able to present it as, as a classically born dish. As I sat in the judges room and listened to the judges critique, uh, 
they were fair. There were some very good comments in reference to it, and there were some comments that were critical uh, to what they prepared, you know. They were very sincere and wanted to make sure that all the candidates that were here tried to do the very best in Excel. Exciting. Lots of energy, lots of passion going on. Um, they, are, they are working very hard. Again, they had to work very hard to get to this point. It's all about training and elevating our industry to be successful and really delivering those great flavors that consumers expect when they go eat food away from home. Today was my freestyle menu. Hectic. Hectic. I, I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow to get my points back up to where they need to be to, to make it to the last day. Played up. I just I, I got I got behind and, and my my station got really really messy and and, and I, I I know I lost a lot of points there and it, 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 in the result I ended up being late so um, I lost quite a bit of points there so I just I need to I need to be on time and I need to work clean. It's hard to block out the, the judges. Um, you block out as much as you can, and there's times when you really feel like you're the only person in the kitchen, and there's other times you feel like there's a million people watching you. So this is a whole new ball of wax. I'm pretty good at making food taste good, just work faster. It's the timing will get you every time. It, it's a long road. I, the first time I did a practice for CMC was in 1993. Uh, with two master chefs that are here, Chef Barnes and Chef Leonard. And um, I've been practicing ever since. A ways back, um, the ACF asked us all questions and, and why why did we take this? I, I guess, make you choke up a little bit, you know? Um, I've been honored to work with many master chefs and um, I'm a, I run a culinary school, so I would love to be able to give that to my students as I was lucky enough to have. Today was uh it was Global Day, and during Global Day we have three different cuisines. Uh, it's cuisine of the Americas, cuisine of the Mediterranean, and cuisines of Asia. I think overall it went well. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens with the tasting judges. Um, kitchen judges said it was a good day, uh, executed well, uh, had a mission today that uh, I just wasn't going to stop running and went out and said I wasn't going to stop moving until the thing was over and uh, that's what I did. Just kind of went with some of the uh, more traditional styles, just making sure all the seafood is lined up real nice and everything's properly lined up, well balanced. Um, and just making it look appetizing, uh, using a little bit of stock and olive oil to finish. Um, finish it with some bright uh, herbs and vegetables with roasted peppers, uh, capers and olives, things like that. They'll help bring uh, a vibrant appeal to the uh, presentation. I'm happy. Uh, I'm a little further along than I anticipated. Um, I had uh, the one rough day during classical but made it through that and uh, the rest of the week has been, been good. Feeling a little bit more comfortable day in and day out in the kitchen and uh, just taking it one day at a time. We are very, very, very proud and just amazed at his ability and what he can do. It's, it's awesome, honestly, it really is. And this is his aunt. <laughs> he was focused on this since uh, he was probably in high school. He knew what he wanted to do. He was gonna, he was gonna be a chef. He had it all planned out and he stuck to his plan and, and did it exactly you know, that way. He has a two and a half year old son and a two month old baby girl. They are definitely oh, rooting yes. for him. Seven and a half week, or she's eight weeks old now. Um, she's eight weeks old, so uh, that was kind of my training for the sleep deprivation part of it. Was uh, 
we'll say I've been here at home. Um, I think of them every day. I just want to do well for them and uh, do well for myself, do well for, for my work and my colleagues, and uh, come out strong. Uh, even if I don't pass, it's, it's still been a great experience. I'll be a better cook for coming out. There have been some that haven't made it. Um, the test is uh, very difficult and uh, it, it does take uh, a very high level of cooking and organization to pass the exam. Uh, we're seeing that in most of the candidates, but not all. So I would say for those that weren't successful this time that it's really a journey. Uh, this isn't really the final destination. And if they were unsuccessful today, uh, they should go back and, and rehone those skills, um, practice with other master chefs, and come back and give it another try. Uh, pastries I, I did pretty well in, I think. Um, during my first uh, ACF apprenticeship, I actually spent uh, a couple years in the pastry shop. So I have a pretty strong pastry background, and I think that probably helped me out. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about the people around me. I learned a lot uh, just going through the exam. So it's, it continues to, you know, when you keep pushing yourself and going through new experiences like this, you only blossom and you get better. So. Um, I look at it as getting, you know, if I would get the Master Chef, uh, it isn't the end of a journey. It's just the, begin it's the beginning of a new one. It's a new chapter. And this exam is extremely difficult, and uh, not everyone is going to pass. Today's frantic, it's the last day of the exam. We have seven candidates here, and right now we're working on Northern European or Continental Cuisine. The candidates are obviously excited and nervous. They need to uh, prepare three main dishes. Uh, there's a palpable energy in the kitchen uh, that you can feel it's different. It's the last day. It's the Super Bowl for chefs. We look first of all for, for uh, basic things like how does he work with his apprentice, uh, about how wasteful is he, uh, are they using the proper cooking techniques, are they working neat, clean, uh, we're checking the trash, whatever they want to throw out, they have to uh, show us first, we got to make sure there's not an excess amount of waste. Well, we had Kokovin, we had Wiener Schnitzel, and uh, goulash, and it's traditional dishes that we learned early on in our career, so it was kind of nice to go back and revisit some of the old recipes that we tried. I think it was as difficult as any other segment. Uh, it's a lot to uh, keep in mind. Uh, there's a lot of uh, detail that you have to do. There's a lot of timing that's involved when you cook a stew or do anything like that, so it's, uh, it's every bit as difficult as any other segment. It was pretty incredible, pretty unbelievable. Uh, it seems like this guy has two extra arms and things just get done in insane speeds with accuracy. I've never seen anyone move that quickly and cleanly. Things were organized and neat how it should be. I couldn't help myself but smiling when a plate up was going out and he was putting down these gorgeous sauces or perfectly cooked meats, you know, it was great. The uh, mystery basket had 22 different items. We had a half hour to look at all the items. Well, there's a few things you want to do in that 30 minutes. Uh, one is you want to try and get the menu done as soon as possible. If, if you can get the menu done, let's say in 15 minutes, that grabs you 15 minutes of start time uh, to start cooking, start your preparation of mise en place. 
Basically, what you want to do is look at the ingredients, and a good way to attack is you look at the main proteins that were given. You uh, separate those proteins, and then you look at all the other accoutrements that were also in the basket. So here's your food. Cook for us. Give us three incredible courses that show you deserve to be a master chef. It's very challenging because unlike some of the other exam uh, tests that they've had this week, you know, they've gotten their classical menu, they've gotten their international menu the day before, so they've had time to research, to plan, to, to really lay out what they're going to do for the three courses. I love you. You're now put in a situation where really it's testing your knowledge of food, it, it's really seeing can you take a black box or a mystery basket of ingredients, put them together in a, a nice time frame, create a very reasonable menu that's uh, simple yet elegant, shows skills of a master chef. They show that they have some pretty good in-depth knowledge about food itself, how food goes together, how food harmonizes and flavors, uh, plate presentation, and of course they're under the pressure. A lot of work and uh, uh, made it to the final day and had a, a, what I felt was a good day. I feel great in the kitchen, but you know, it's, 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 you're being judged. So hopefully, uh, I had a good day and, and the judges see that. You know, I'm excited that uh, hopefully it, it happens today. It's been a lifelong goal. You know, he went he went to school here in Hyde Park at the CIA, and so I think um, as a as a young student, he would look at the CMC exam and you know think about it for years and years and years. And now it's finally come to it, and I think um, it's just a great gratification for all his hard work. We've put so much time, and she's been so supportive over the last couple of years, really, um, leading up to this this day. And it's been training for months and months and months, and um, working just you know days and days off and he's been here for two weeks so we've been without him for two weeks. She came in yesterday to support but it really I mean it's all business. It's so close so we've got one more competency left and so we're very excited. I don't know it's just just one of those things it's just you know you love him so much and you miss him so much and they've given you so much support. It's been a long long haul. We're very excited and we can't wait to celebrate with him. Robert good luck we love you. Very tender. The shaping is excellent. It's bright flavors of mm -hmm. camino and ginger. Mm -hmm. Could be a little bit hotter. Finished, baked. A little caper. In Level. There. The olives are even cut, you know, instead of just popping on top. Wow. I like that he arranged it, everything. I think it went very well. I was pretty happy with everything. Um, a good sign is, is that you are able to be ready when it comes time for service, especially not just be ready trying to catch up and get your food plated, but to be able to really taste everything, adjust the seasoning, consistency. Today I don't think actually was as hard as what most people would perceive it would be um, because we've had like the entire week to really kind of get a tempo and a rhythm. And I really felt like today, I mean, I was kind of starting to hit strides. And I feel good about my performance this week. So I think that whatever the results are, I just have to accept it and be positive. It's out of my hands. There's nothing I can do about it. I just uh, go in there and cook and leave it up to other people. We do that all the time. We compete uh, with other chefs. And, you know, we may feel we do a great job and, and we've hit everything, but uh, it doesn't uh, work out that way sometimes. So I'm here every day and uh, worked hard every day in the kitchen and uh, kept myself uh, like a normal work day. Uh, got through everything that I had to do and uh, felt very proud of you know, the work I did. And I'm very happy with how I performed all week. Nervous and anxious as before the cooking. At this point, the cooking's done. Um, I think we're all professional enough to understand uh, even before we go into critique about where we stand each day. And uh, so it's just kind of a verification now of, of uh, what we think. Um, if I don't make it through this time, then I'll, I'll reset my goals and, and uh, set up so I, I'll be successful the next time through. If by chance I do make it, I'll find something new. Um, I'll definitely be spending some catch-up time with my family first, and then uh, we'll look for new uh, targets to go after. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Can I have the uh, remaining four candidates with me in the judges' room, please? Good. It's all good news. You're done. Congrats. Apprentices were A number one, the judges were A number one, fair, fun, and firm. It's a good, uh, great experience, uh, but a tough experience at the same time. It's a tough exam. Uh, the passing rate, I think, as everybody knows, uh, is not high. It's really not an impossible task. Uh, it's a, a task that requires a, a commitment to solid cooking skills and fundamentals.